My name is Alina Randava and I'm the founder of Project CHAP. I started Project CHAP as a sophomore in high school because I have a lot of family in the medical field and I've heard many stories of families not being able to make ends meet when it comes to medical bills. And so I wanted to start an organization that directly combated this issue. It was unreal. <laughs> it really was. Um, we, we really couldn't have made it. We would have been homeless had you know, we not had so much support. After reaching out to Chris's parents and working with them throughout this year, I was able to form a really strong connection with Chris. We bonded over things like Fortnite and a few of his favorite musical interests like ACDC and Queen. Chris Younger is a 14-year-old boy, so the same age as me, and it's really amazing to see a person as young as Chris go through a series of life-threatening events and surgeries and still come out as a brave and resilient young man. Hello, my name is Kayla Ju, and I am the Vice President of Project CHAP. I help with many things, including just educating our club members with topics of the week and just what we're doing as a club, helping to manage our finances and finding more ways that our community um, could partner up with us in order to just make Project CHAP's impact bigger. Yeah, Elena, you know, when she first reached out telling me that she was this young child, I thought, there's an adult behind this, it's running this, and this is just one of the kids that, this is her part of the job she has to do, or you know, as a school project, I didn't, I didn't know how far it was gonna go. Outside of Project CHAP, there are a lot of people that help make these events possible. I would like to thank Assemblyman Gallagher for his continued support, and Calusa and Glen Medical Center for hosting our second annual event. 